how to slip stitch in knitting. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to my channel, Studio Knit. For this lesson, I am switching out the blue yarn to white so you can easily differentiate a regular knit or purl stitch versus a slip stitch. This technique video is for right-handed knitters. If you're looking for the left-handed version, I have a link in the description below. We're starting with the knit side of our work. So this is the side where you would be knitting your stitches and we are going to create our first slip stitch. Now the default is to slip purlwise. So that's taking your needle, inserting it as if to purl. So just putting it straight into that stitch right there and taking it off of your needle. You're not knitting it, you're not purling it, you're just slipping it straight off as if to knit purlwise. Again, this is the default. So if your instructions do not tell you if you are slipping your stitch purlwise or knitwise, do it purlwise. Let's do it again, inserting your needle straight into that stitch as if to purl, taking it off, and that's all it is. So you can see that our slip stitches are still in the blue yarn and the white yarn that we're using to knit through that is on our needles. So let's do another knit stitch here. And because we were knitting, our yarn was in the back. This time we're going to bring our yarn to the front. So you see the abbreviation WYIF with yarn in front. So we again are going to slip purlwise, but this time our yarn is in the front. And your pattern instructions will specify that the yarn should be in front. If they want you to wrap a stitch for a particular reason, maybe you're doing a textured pattern or something involving color work that always looks really pretty. So let's do it again. We're going to knit just a regular stitch right here. And then we're going to slip purlwise on the knit side here with our yarn in front. So we bring our yarn in between the two needles in the front, taking our needle, slipping one stitch as if to purl, and we have slipped our stitch purlwise on the knit side. Now changing it up to slipping knitwise. Again, we're still on the knit side. The yarn is in the back and you're slipping knitwise as if to knit. And the reason it would specify slipping knitwise is to twist that stitch. And again, this might be in some textured work. We'll do that again. So we're just knitting a stitch and our yarn is in the back, W-Y-I-B with yarn in back. Again, we're going to slip knitwise. So we take the tip of our needle as if to knit and simply slip it onto the other needle. We're not knitting it, we're not purling it, we're just slipping it right off the needle. Now let's take a look at what it's like to slip knitwise on the knit side with our yarn in front, W-Y-I-F. We're going to knit, we're going to slip knitwise, and then we bring our yarn to the back again and you'll see that we have a little wrapped stitch right there. So there's a bar around the slip stitch. Let's just do a regular knit stitch. And again, we're going to slip knitwise here on the knit side with our yarn in front, bringing the yarn in front, slipping that stitch off knitwise, bringing it back. And again, we have wrapped that stitch. If this video is helpful to you, please like it up and make sure to subscribe to Studio Knit. It really helps me out and this way you never miss a video. If you'd like to give slip stitching a try right away, I have some beautiful knit stitch patterns that use the slip stitch technique. I'll have a link down to the entire playlist of my slip stitch knit stitch patterns. Go check them out, choose your favorite and knit up a new project today. Continuing on, we are going to be working on the purl side of our work. So this is typically the back side, but if you have a purl side to your knitting, there are also slip stitches. And I just want to show you exactly what those look like. Really similar technique as what we just did, 
but I'd like to show you what it looks like on the purl side. So here we're going to slip purl wise with the yarn in front. Now the yarn would typically be in front just to make those regular purl stitches and you slip purl wise as if to purl, but you don't actually purl, you're just slipping it. So right here, we're going to purl the next stitch. And you can see that that stitch right there has the yarn bar, but it's on the wrong side of our work. Again, slipping purl wise on the purl side with the yarn in front. And we're going to just purl the next stitch. Let's take a look at what happens when the yarn is in the back. With yarn in back, we're slipping purl wise. And then we want to bring our yarn to the front again to do just a regular purl stitch. So we're purling and that wrap is on the front side of our work. So perhaps there's a color work pattern that is created by using this technique. Again, let's take that yarn to the back with yarn in back, slip one stitch purl wise, again, bring it to the front so that you can purl the next stitch. And this is how our slip stitches purl wise are looking on the purl side. So we have done six different variations. We have two more and we're going to remain on the purl side, but this time we're slipping knitwise. So we are taking our needle and we are going to slip that stitch as if to knit. So that's slipping knitwise. Let's purl the next stitch and we have our yarn in front. So that's with yarn in front, W Y I F. Again, we're slipping knitwise. All you do is slip that stitch. And we can go ahead and purl this next stitch and see again that we have those bars on the wrong side of our work, on the back side of our work. Now there may be a reason, a color work reason to take the yarn in back. So that is just slipping knitwise with the yarn in back. And then you bring it back to the front if you want to purl the next stitch. And that stitch is now wrapped on the front side of our work, on the right side of our work. Again, we're going to take the yarn to the back, slip it once knitwise, bring the yarn back to the front to regularly just purl that stitch here on the purl side of our work. So we can see that when we slipped with our yarn in the front, the bars are on the wrong side of our work. But when we slipped with the yarn in back, those color bars appear on the right side, on that knit side of our work. I hope you are inspired to slip a stitch with confidence. I have so many great knitting technique videos for you. Go check them out. Thank you so much for joining me here at Studio Knit and I will see you here next time. Bye.